Hi, this is Frederick from Tech Nordic. Today we'd we'll like to show you TechScope Anywhere, which I think is a fantastic software for offline analyzing measurement uh, and uh, reporting tool. It allows you to open an almost infinite number of channels and do an infinite number of type of measurement. But let's start with something very simple. I will open uh, waveforms, two of them, because this is the differential channel. I will put it on the channel one and I will just open. So we have two of them open. The window over here, you can have them overlaid or separate. If you have them overlaid and you can do some zoom like this, it's very quick and easy. You can zoom a little bit more. And then of course you can add some cursor measurement here if you like to do that. So this is this is basically you know the viewing functionality. Most people that work with this knows that you know if you have a differential channel, you need to add math. So I will add a math channel here, math, and I will take math channel one minus channel two, and I will create a math channel, which is the pink one in the middle. Next one, I will create a, create an eye diagram on math one. Oh, it doesn't look too good. Maybe the clock recovery is wrong. Uh, we will add some more measurement. I will measure. Uh, rise time and the frequency and you can see down here how quick this is you have the time interval rise time frequency math you can see that and there's a population of 45,000 let's start configuring the uh, time interval error and having a different clock recovery it should be a custom type 2 uh, with a 5 meg loop bandwidth here we go and when I've done this, I can always annotate. I like this function. It's uh, type. Oh, sorry, type uh, two. Oh, type two PLL five megahertz. Make this a little bit bigger. And I right click down. I can change this a little bit also. The scale. Um, when in terms of the results of the rise time or the frequency, I can do some plots of that too, and I can display what I want to do. Rise time, I can have a, let's do a histogram and a histogram of frequency. And all these windows are kind of, you can move them around if you want to have them different places. If you want this one in the middle, if you want this one uh, aside with this one, you can have it like this. So it's a really neat tool for you to be able to do some simple measurement. When you're done with this, you know, you can save this session if you like, or you can go to save as and just make a report. In this case, I will make a report. And I'll say, is it, uh, I will put in type two works. Works. Okay, and I'll save this. So now I'm taking something offline and I just open it and I've done some measurement and soon you will see a report here. And the report is very clear. It was a test report. You see the time, you know, measurement, population, you know, all the uh, eye diagrams and everything I wanted to do. Type I think it's kind of nice. And also, if here, if you click here, you can always have these uh, uh, cursors over here. So that's one thing I want to do. This is with a high speed scope. So I just want the default setup now. And I'm going to show you a little trick I found out lately. It's when you have maybe a 2000 or a 4000 scope you can open here you can see that we support most of the waveforms even from competitors but i'm gonna do something here that i think is really good i will look and open a, a, a capture from one of the channels on the mso 2000 so let's do that I go down here i need to configure this so first i have a label called mso 2000 that's fine and then I'm going to change this uh, volt per div a little bit. So I have full of it. And you see that MSO 2000 is a little bit small here. We put it to 48 and I have a different little bit green color and I move it wrong. So this is, hope you can see it clear. Now, this should be a data. And as of course we saw before that you just create an eye diagram. But here you can see that there's something destroying. There's something in the middle of the eye. This is not the one and this is not the zero. There's something in between. And here's a trick I found out, which I think is really useful. You go here, you configure this one out, 
You go to global setting and you set that you want to do the eye diagram between the cursors. And then you enable the cursors. Oh, I should have been the right one. You enable the cursors here. So now you can move and see what's happening in real time. You know, you can see. So somewhere down here is the, is the breaking point. So and when you've done that, you go to the zoom and you zoom into this one. And here, here you go. This is the point. Just right click, annotate, error. And you put in error. 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 And you can make this a little bit bigger if you like that too. It's like this. And right click and there's font size 26. You can change this one. And there's a lot of things you can bring forward. You can send it to, I mean, maybe I have one, one I have like this. So it's really nice for the reporting part. When I've done this, I can just save this as a new report error and save. So this is tip and tricks from Frederick Tech Nordic, and I hope you enjoy this. And here you can see that the error and the cursors. Have a great day.